Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to ARK. Today I have flown over to what I've been calling Nox's Island. Yep, just keeping it pretty simple. <laughs> he has a lot of dinos out here, a greenhouse, and I thought I would just kind of show this to you guys while I'm out here. Now I'm actually standing on his boat, the NX Dreadnought, as you can see through the floor there. And I flew a Crimson Weem over here who I just picked up earlier today. So I thought I would jump down in here and stab his ladder, apparently, <laughs> and show you this map that's up here. I actually edited this and threw our names in, kind of drew these in with markers of where we were at. So we're currently up on this island right there, just near the Lava Island. I mean, that's what we keep referring to it as. That's what we'll stick with. You can see my base way down here, southwest. We have Arius is down in the middle of the ruins, although he's spending a lot of time up here. Then we've got Reaper way out to the west. I think Kolohe is actually down here, but I don't know that for sure. Otherwise, I would have thrown him on there. So there you go. Let's a quick look at the boat. Now, let's jump back. To, uh, yes, let's go back up here. And we'll go ahead and hop on Crimsoweem. Just fly down here really quick. I want to show you the greenhouse because this was really cool. I didn't actually know they had this until he started working on this. I didn't know that this was in the game until he started working on it. So here you go. We got glass walls, roof, ceiling, these really cool doors. I really like these handles. We got all kinds of plants in here. So I'm gonna kind of walk through here. You've got um, you know different kinds of fruit. We have vegetables stuff in here. I was kind of raiding the carrots earlier. <laughs> <laughs> taming a uh, actually I was taming crimson weem using the carrots so I got those that's really cool We've got all kinds of stuff here I think this is the other big one um, not these not the stim berries but we had the um, the narco berries right here we go whole bunch of narco berries if I open these up you can see that we've got uh, what 299 and these grow very quickly you can see just how many are here so that's not a problem as they said when I asked uh, if they had any they said yeah Narco berries is not a problem. There you go. We've got quite a few of those around. So I'm, I'm, I may actually swipe some of these before I go. But um, yeah, check this guy out. High wind. So this is the, what do they call it? The Quetzal? It starts with a Q. Quetzal? Quetzal? Something like that. And um, I actually ran across this and uh, told them, hey, I found one. <laughs> We've been keeping an eye out for one. So uh, everybody flew out and uh, shot it down and they tamed it. I actually had to leave at the time, so I didn't get to be there for the taming. But um, very cool, very huge guy. I can actually jump up here. There you go. I don't want to fly him because he's got everybody kind of situated down here. <laughs> when Dilo's running, these guys kind of scatter and go all over the place. But because it's all pretty well organized, I'm going to go ahead and leave him alone. We won't fly him anywhere. I don't want to disrupt things, but there you go. We got one of those. He's got Brontos. Just all kinds of dinos here. Has the uh, round pin in here. I'd open the door, except last time I did that, uh, there was someone there that just wanted to get out right away. You can see he's got beetles. Ooh, and he brought in a <laughs> happy feet. Nice. So you got the penguins in there. We are out in that area. You can see somebody is uh, taking a nap in here. But uh, yeah, I got the flashing eggs. I think, um, which one's like the over raptors or something? Um, their buff basically increases the egg production. Here you go. You can see a couple eggs here from Zakora. So all kinds of stuff going on down here. Now, they're very near the lava mountain over there. A lot of stuff going on over there. Very dangerous. Lots of Carnos, T-Rex, that kind of stuff. So not really a safe place to kind of hang out. But um, they are looking at moving. It sounds like Knox and some of the others here are going to go set up a base. Uh, try that again. Get a big base going. Not exactly sure where they're going to go just yet. But I'm looking forward to see where seeing where that is and, and helping kind of gather materials and get some stuff set up okay so Knox's place uh, just basically has the greenhouse and a bunch of dinos as he's kind of preparing kind of gathering resources and getting prepped uh, for you know larger projects so I thought I would fly right over here to the lava island and give you a look at this thing and you can see this ash kind of floating around it looks really really cool I love the clouds as well very cool looking but what I haven't done is I haven't flown up there to where uh, this cloud is coming out and I do want to check that out so I thought I would bring you along for that as well you can see we've got a t-rex down there there's a lot of scorpions around here too as you can see the lava flow kind of coming down and entering the water if I cruise over here check that out very reminiscent of Lord of the Rings right at the end uh, 
in Mount Doom, you got all this lava coming down, the rocks coming up at this kind of angle and everything, that's what it makes me think of. But um, there you go, you can see Carno right up there, uh, Argentavis over there. So dangerous things here, things that don't really want you to be around. Um, yeah, they like to hang out here. So <laughs> this is actually the farthest uh, inland I've gone. So uh, this should be cool. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I figured I would take the opportunity. Now hopefully, it does say we're hot, uh, but hopefully it doesn't do cause us any damage or anything being up here. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on my health as I hover above this, but wow, check that out. Quite warm. We get the heat indicator bottom left there. We are very hot, very hot up here. I don't wanna touch down there. <laughs> I don't wanna burn my feet. But uh, you can see the lava kind of moving ahead of us there. But we are gonna need to set down. My stamina is low. I like to make sure that that's going up good. I should be okay right here. Let's just go ahead and uh, try to safely set down here. Cool, look at that, the ash coming down. I really like this. It would be fun to try to get something set up in a dangerous area like this, whether it would be here on this lava mountain or uh, in the mountains over there uh, to the west, way up in the snow where you freeze. I actually died out there last night. I uh, got way too cold and couldn't get out of there in time. So uh, <laughs> that's definitely a thing that can happen. Is this, uh, let me go down here, is this water? Oh, look at that. You know, there's water here. So there you go, we got a raptor here, all kinds of dangerous stuff. You can see the trees have kind of, they kind of burned before, we got little embers. It looks like there's some hot spots here too, that's really interesting. I don't know if that if that hurts, if that causes damage or not, I have no idea. We're not going to stick around to find out. <laughs> but this place does look really cool at night, it gets really well lit. Um, you know, with the lava flow and everything like that, the lighting on that just looks really cool. Very cool. Uh, one of the fun things is when you're flying around this island or even to it at night, uh, it can be very dark. You can just look, this, look like this black spot when, when you're out at a distance and the lava isn't lighting it up. And during a like a thunderstorm when the lightning strikes and the sky lights up, it's really cool because that's when you see the details of the island. It can just look like this silhouette until that lightning comes out. Man, it looks really cool. But anyway, I'm going to fly back over to Knox's Island here. I'm going to sit down and relax before I cruise back to my base. But um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do in this video was show you guys Knox's setup of the greenhouse and everything. I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, I had no idea that was part of the game until he said, hey, I'm building a greenhouse. I was like, hold on, wait a second. Do you just mean some walls that you're going to put plants inside of? <laughs> or is there some special functionality here? And he's like, oh, yeah, it's like glass walls. Come check it out. So anyway, like I said, I thought I'd bring you guys over here and show you what he's got going on. It's also kind of fun for us to look back on it, especially as he's getting ready to move and set up another base somewhere. And, and uh, maybe we'll see what that looks like once we get that going. And definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think of the game. Um, if you're playing, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to hear from you. But, but maybe more so here in the second video, if you guys can let me know if you'd like to see more ARC videos. Um, that's I'm, I'm Right now, I'm really not sure if people are very interested. The game's been around a while. The center map is pretty new, but a lot of people are playing it. So um, I'm not sure how interested you guys are in seeing more, but I could definitely bring more to the channel if that is a thing. So thanks for watching as always. Thanks for all your feedback. I appreciate it and I'll catch you next time.